I have some inside information some insider information about Neptune. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. You might notice that I'm not in my usual filming space. I'm actually at one of my best friend's house. I'm at Mel's house. She's cooking us a little pasta with Mel and Imo, my other best friend. And tonight we're having like, I'll go back into the light where it's better lighting. We're having like a little girl night a little autumnal night well we were going to meet up anyway to just have like a girls chill girls chill night and then mel said that she'll cook and it's really funny because it reminds us of our girls holiday that we went on a few years ago um to magaluf <laughs> so we went to magaluf and there was like nowhere nice to eat in magaluf don't ask me why i went to magaluf because we were young and <laughs> so mel would cook chorizo pasta for us every single night because i couldn't cook Imogen, could you cook? Oh, I could cook. I still want to cook. <laughs> so you could cook, but just didn't want to. So Mel, Mel's like the mother hen of the group. <laughs> and would just cook us chorizo pasta every night. But then one night we did have super noodles. And we cooked like eight packets of super noodles. There was so many. It's like a cauldron of super noodles. <laughs> so anyway, long story short, we're having a little pasta night at Mel's. And then we're going to do some autumn candle painting. I've seen it so much on TikTok. And... It's all like aesthetic and all the candles look dead cute and I just feel like ours oh, is going to be a complete fail. <laughs> but we'll see. We've got all the candles, I'll show you. Mel has also set the table for us. Bosley Range. Are we loving this? Neptune fans. Gorgeous. And on the tray as well. In fact, no, the tray's Neptune too, isn't it? Yeah. It's all Neptune. Oh, the placemats Neptune too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got another Neptune lover in this house. So we're having our pasta. I'll show you in a second and then this is all... The stuff, so I went to Ikea to get some of these candles. I got these candlesticks from Sainsbury's, £4.50 for 10, which I thought was really good. And then I've brought these three candlestick holders to like pop the candlesticks in because I just thought it would be easier to paint. And then I got some little paint brushes and some acrylic paint with loads of autumnal shades. So I'm really excited to do that. Obviously, I'll show you guys on the vlog. You can let us know which candle you think is the best. I thought I'd also just show you Mel's gorgeous living room. So Neptune lovers, this is Neptune French grey paint. It's like a gorgeous greeny shade. Look at the coving at the top as well and the shutters. It's so gorgeous. I love all the tones in Mel's house. Loads of gorgeous Neptune pieces, scallop tray. Love it. And then all the green accents on here. Little Neptune cushion. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this actually feels like Magalor. <laughs> I love these plates. You're making me want the set now. They're so nice. So, we're all set up. Look at the spooky specs. We've got skittles and stars. We've got our little dip water pots. All the candles, paintbrushes, paints. Let's do this. So we're trying to get inspo and these are like so like aesthetically pleasing. I feel like mine is definitely not going to look like that. Mel's going to go for like, yeah, like mushrooms. mushrooms and Imo's going for leaves. some leaves. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. We're starting with these ones. We'll start with the white ones first and then we're going to move to like the cream ones. So wish us luck. Let's see how it goes. So it's actually going all right so far. I'm doing like some little golden leaves. So I'm going to like add a stem as well. And then I'm doing some brown leaves. I feel like it looks quite aesthetic vibes. Smells gone mushrooms. Yeah, I think they'll come together. It looks really cute. And the like white spots. Yeah. How's your leaf going? Not great. Let me see. <laughs> Oh, it's cute. I'm actually so excited to style this now in my home. <laughs> Am I going to business? I, I love that. <laughs> I love doing home. this. <laughs> it's going straight in the business. <gasps>
So we finished candle painting. I'm just making Mel do a reel. She has to stand back there and I'm gonna do like a really quick reel of them all. I am just obsessed with how they look. I mean like they look so cozy and autumnal. I'll give you a close up in a minute when we've done the reel. I feel like it's a spooky witch Halloween party. <laughs> right, last one. They do look really cute. I love it. So we've got the reel, Mel's just blowing out the candles now because we don't want our creations to melt away. But look how cute they all are. I, I actually think we could sell these. I've, I'm really impressed with us. Like we're not artists, are we? Is that when you <laughs> smoke on? <laughs> so smoky in here. I really love them. Which one is your favourite? Let me know in the comments. Do you like the leafy ones, pumpkin ones, toadstool ones? Oh, I love them. Hey guys, so it's the next day now, the next day after candle painting. It was so much fun, like, I actually loved it. It was just so cute and autumnal, like, a really wholesome activity. So I'll show you the candles in a set, like, up close. Because I'm really proud of them, actually, like, I, I'm really proud of my candles. All of us did really well, actually. Like, I feel like if they were in a shop, they would be sellouts. I've just got ready, it's quite hot today, which I am annoyed about. I just want the cold weather. Now, when we're in October, I don't want it to be 20 degrees, but it's quite hot today, but I've still decided to go with an autumnal outfit. I'm just in this black, like, long sleeve dress with my Uggs and my new bag. And I'm also just on my way out to go shopping with mum. We love a mum daughter shopping day, and I know you guys love those videos as well. The amount of messages I get when I've got a shopping video with mum coming up saying that they're your favorite types of videos, which is really sweet. So yeah, shopping with mum today and we'll see what we get up to. We'll see if I decide to get anything. Just before I go out, I thought I'd show you the candles up close. Let me go and get them. So I've seen this everywhere on TikTok and it honestly looked like so much fun, which is why I suggested it to the girls. I've seen people do it with acrylic paint, which is what we use. It's much neater, I think, if you do use acrylic paint. Although they, they recommend that you don't burn them if you've used acrylic paint, because it can create like fumes and stuff. I don't know. I'm not going to be burning these anyway. I'll probably like light one for a picture maybe, and then blow it out and just have it for, for show. Or you can also use like coloured tea lights and light them and then use the melted wax to, to put, on your, put on your paintbrush and then put on your candle. So you can paint with wax which looks quite cute as well and obviously it dries like wax. Quite like a cute like 3D effect but not as neat. So you can decide which one you want to do if you do decide to do this with your friends. But this is the first one I did and I just wanted like a leafy like botanical kind of autumn vibe and I think this actually looks so cute I feel like it looks like botanical like is it like a resin candle or am I making that up kind of giving the vibe of like dry flowers in the wax like dried into the wax but obviously it's just painted on but I love it I think the colors are perfect for autumn it literally matches perfectly with that autumn bouquet over there so I might move it over there but I think that is adorable and if I saw that in a shop not even joking I would buy it that is how much I really love it. I don't know if I'm just like seeing it as really good because I painted it and I'm dead proud of it. Like you'll have to let me know does that look really bad or is it actually quite cute? You might think, Chess, what is that? What a mess. It's like a child painted it. But I really like it. I think it's cute. So that was like the little ditty one I did. And then I did two larger ones. Aren't they adorable? I think they are literally adorable. These candles are from Ikea. Mel picked them up. Dead cheap. So this one was a quick one I did right at the end. It's another like leafy, like two different types of leaves. Again, if I saw it in a shop, I would buy it. I would put it in the trolley. And then this one, I adore this one. Like green leaves and little acorns. Like, tell me now, should I start a candle business? Lunchtime. Lunchtime. Thank you. Ah, uh, Jake strikes again. <laughs> and then lastly, I painted these two like tapered candlesticks. This one is like a little mushroom one. How cute, it's got a little bit messy cause like it's hard to do the dots. And then they kind of got smudged on the way home. But I think that is adorable. And then I also did a little pumpkin one as well. So cute. They were my little candles. I'm gonna do a little bit of styling today. I need to style up the downstairs bathroom for autumn. I know I'm a bit late to the game with that. I've done most of my autumn styling everywhere else, but I like do little bits here and there, don't I? I like little bits of faffing every now and again, but I want to change up those shells because they've been the same for quite a long time now. So I want to change those up and make them look a little bit more autumnal. So I might include that in this video as well. I'm gonna go out with mom, take you with me, and yeah, hope you enjoy watching the rest of the video. I just found mom, she's just getting changed and then she's gonna come over. So I thought I would make a start on these shells. What I'm going to do is take everything off. Can you see it's going weird on the camera there? Why does it do that? It's so annoying. But I'm going to take everything off the shelves, give them a dust. And even though my cleaner does 
dust them anyway like she'll she comes fortnightly and does such a good job like she does all the mopping all the stuff that i don't want to do mopping bathroom shower you know just like all the stuff that well that i i don't, just don't want to do and that she'll dust everywhere as well like since she's been coming i literally don't see any dust anywhere it's so good honestly having a cleaner when i come home on a monday night because she comes on a monday and everywhere is just spotless love it so it might not she only just came so it might not need a dust but i might just like give it a once over and then do some styling some like neutral styling not too much autumn because it's only like a small space i don't want it to be like pumpkin mad she says just watch this space I'll be pumpkins everywhere in a minute but I'm going to give it a little bit of a rejig so I'm going to take everything off special acorn if you know you know I always forget how much I love this little jug it's a little William Morris jug I think it's from Amazon I think I got it from Amazon it was only dead cheap the bachelor's button like print design and it's just gorgeous and neutral and just goes with everything in my house I love it I love William Morris stuff toilet roll I did have like a bit of autumn in here this vase is from home pieces and this bouquet is from the range that those stems that i got from the range and made a little bouquet so there is a little bit of autumn going on but i just fancy a restyle so before we style the shelves i feel like i want to change up the vase that i have on this little shelf try and show you so like the toilet's there and then like the radiator shells so there's like a little shelf behind the toilet so I always like to have like like a floral arrangement there and I feel like I've had that vase there for a while now you just know when you want to change something up so I've got three options I've got this one which is from Habitat because I want something to the side of it there I want to pop some like pumpkins on there I think we'd have this vase which is from Habitat Sainsbury's and then I'm just thinking like some like really minimal autumnal stems or we could have this vase which is from Simply Belle Maison Homeware. That might be a bit tall because this is kind of this is at the stairs, so it like kind of slopes down. That might be a bit tall. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. It's gorgeous though, but maybe somewhere else. And then we've also got the Neptune Bowlesley jug. That could be a vibe as well. So we'll see. Let me let me get some stems and we'll see which one looks best. So I've got these like little seeded berry stems. I think they're from Olive and Wood Interiors last year or the year before. And I just think they look so gorgeous, very premium. With it being a Neptune jug, I just like, look at that already. I know it's not even at the right height yet, but I feel like it's gonna work really well. I've got six of these, but I don't think I'll need all six. So let me just bend these stems. And I, they can just kind of like hang over and I can, I can spread all the branches out like that. Oh, exciting! And they like they lend themselves into Christmas as well. That you could have these out up until Christmas too, couldn't you? They're so easy to bend. There's nothing better than an easily movable stem. Does that make sense? When stems are so hard to bend, you know, like when you're trying to make them fit your bars, it like really frustrates me and I get really really annoyed when the stems won't bend like when they're really hard to bend just look how much I can bend like I can like wiggle it such a cute vibe I love that and then I'm gonna get some like neutral pumpkins for here for this bowl so I'm really zoomed in right now guys so you can see the wooden bowl but I've got these sets I've got this set of three pumpkins from the range which I've not actually used yet and I thought like the dark stem I know it's random but ties in quite nicely with the darkness of the foliage that I've just put out and I just thought that they look cute there. Oh, how adorable is that? It's a little set of three. They're like velvet as well, so they're like fabric. Oh, just need to get them to stay now, don't I? They're like, like that. And I love that they're on this scalloped tea towel from Zara. Literally no one is allowed to use this. Could you imagine if it got dirt on it? It's just not even worth thinking about, is it? I feel like I wanna use my new candle that I painted last night with the girls. I feel like this will look so cute in the bathroom and look at this little scalloped it's like a tiny little like tea bag holder i think it's from h&m like a little plate and it just makes the perfect candle plate nice and neutral so i feel like i don't know where but i'll just pop it there for now 
maybe like something next to it. Cute. So I've just taken my Ashcroft tray from the kitchen to do some styling in here and I'm going to Neptune today so I think I've decided I'm going to get another one of these just because they're so versatile and I'm always moving them about like I always want one in here but I always want one in the kitchen. I've also got one upstairs as well but that is a tissue box turned upside down. Really good hack if these are out of stock by the way. So I do think I'm going to get another one today when I go to Neptune but I've just brought that in and I've got the little bottles from Neptune as well, the rosemary and thyme ones in there. I'm also going to pop this next to the candle and look what I found in my foliage box. It must be from the tablescape the other week when I had them in the bud vases. These are from Dunelm, the brown gypsophila stems. So gorgeous, looks so high end but they're really, really affordable. And I've just got a little tiny sprig so I'm going to pop that in there. And I feel like it just matches like the candle a little like decorations on the candle really nicely and then I thought what other pumpkin would match better with like the brownie vibes and this one from Hobby Craft. How cute does all that look? Adorable! And then I always like to have soap in the bathroom like a bar of soap not to use or anything just for show and I found this pumpkin dish from I think it was from Just So Interiors last year or the year before it was just in my autumn box so I thought that would look cute with some Neptune soap in so I'm going to pop that there on that side and then a little room spray next to it in Verving Scent, best scent ever from White Company. Well, one of the best scents ever. I would actually like to swap this out for the Fireside one, maybe even the new Amber one because that smells really nice as well. But I'll have to have a trip to the White Company because I do have vouchers to spend actually. So I might treat myself to some new like autumnal like room sprays and oils and things because what's better than the white company and then up here on the other side of the shelf i said i wasn't going to go pumpkin mad didn't i and look here i am one two three four five six pumpkins seven including the dish in one small room oops anyway i really want to use these ones and i've not actually used this one yet so these these are both from homestyle 89 helena got them for me in our bestie home haul with homestyle 89 this is a cute little pumpkin tea light holder adorable and it looks so cute with that as well like mummy mummy and baby <laughs> and this is like the large version they also do a smaller version of this as well with the little stalk but i've got that in the kitchen so i think i'm just going to have those up there like that and then because if i like move you back a little bit because there's kind of like dark tones here, there, I feel like I need another bit of like darker tone up here as well. So I think I'm just going to pop that candle there. That's the TK Maxx dupe candle that looks literally identical to the Neptune ones for a fraction of the price. And I feel like that looks super cute and cosy and autumnal and neutral. I love it. Hello. I'm here. Okay. See you soon. Hello. So I finished styling the bathroom and that was literally perfect timing, wasn't it? Because mum is now outside waiting for me. So I will bring you shopping with us and we will see what we get up to. Just before I go though, I thought I'd just give you like a proper view of how the bathroom is looking because I know those angles weren't the best. You know me and angles. We I don't always get the best camera angles on my video. I just love this bathroom now. I actually can't believe what it used to look like. If you follow her on Instagram, you'll know what it used to look like with the awful like fuse box and everything. It was just like such a disaster. <laughs> but I I'm just like in love with how it looks now so yeah let me know what you think of the little bathroom reshuffle I really really love it I think it looks super cozy I can't get in <laughs> hello. hello welcome to the vlog <laughs> she's bringing me back to Neptune again <laughs> What are you getting this time? <laughs> You're not putting that on. <laughs> it's like deja vu. <laughs> I love the mimosa. And these weren't here last time. Mum just said she's got these in her lounge. I love yeah. the colours of those. You, get, you do get quite a lot yeah. actually, don't you? Yeah. I've never really seen We've seen moss on a screen like that before. In the wild. I don't know. <laughs> I don't go into the wild. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. I love those. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Are they like little poppy heads? Yeah. They're cute. Because they do, because they look really Yeah. I know, I love that seeded eucalyptus. Mm. Table's looking gorgeous. The green candles and the gold candle holders. Love this bowl as well. They're just the perfect, cute little vases slot next to things mm. 
Yeah, I've just I've just been styling my bathroom before I came out. I put that in in there with mm. a little tiny sprig. Oh yeah. Autumn foliage. Oh. <laughs> what? I have got it. <laughs> it's in my it's in the front room. Or it's either that or that one. No, I think it's this one. See, I wasn't so sure on this foliage at first, but when you see it all like that... In the line. It does look nice, doesn't it? Yeah. The fluffy, like, pinky... It does. ...foliage. Yeah. Pretty tablescape. Big lanterns. And you've got a small one next to it. Yeah, that I like these dark candles on here too. All kind of complements the, like, berry tones in here. They look really cute. Heavy. Yeah. I was gonna say you should. That looks really nice. That it big does. basket. Yeah. So this, if you don't follow my mum's Instagram account, you definitely should. It's is it Jan's Hedro Home or Hedro's Home? Hedro. Hedro. I think. <laughs> you don't even know. Mum has just like made all her family room like this brick, and also has got this console table as well from Neptune. It looks so nice. I'm so jealous. No, don't be jealous of your mother. <laughs> That basket literally fits perfectly there. I want another, I've got things like the hurricane lamps on my table and mm. I want another vase of flowers because I've got a massive one on top. Yeah, a basket is a good idea. Do you think? Hmm. We're at HomeSense. I feel like I've not been to HomeSense in ages. Only um, last week. No, I literally haven't been in ages. <laughs> but I'm not going to go crazy because I don't need any more autumn decor. These are cute with a little autumn wreath. We've got all the Christmas stuff out. These are so cute, all the little felt animals. Cute Christmas wreaths. I mean, it is a little bit early, isn't it? But we can still get excited. This is cute. Yeah, I think, I think I've got it in a, I've got it in the lighter colour. This is like a darker scalloped plant part. That's cute. They're really are quite nice, those. You picked them up last week. I got some. Look how cute these bowls are. They're like a little flower. I love those. Only how much are they? Three ninety nine. Look at those. Are they like a lettuce or a flower? They're cute, aren't they? Yeah, they are cute. Three ninety nine. I love those. I don't need any more bowls. <laughs> you don't. You got some. <laughs> I know. All the Christmas mugs are out. Oh, sausage dog one. <laughs> you just need to get a sausage dog. <laughs> Look at that, like pink Santa, that's cute. Have you not seen my cosy mug? Oh. I've not done a hot chocolate in it yet. No, I've not. It's got a little squirrel on the hand. <laughs> and this one's cute, the snowflakes. Oh, I just love a cosy hot chocolate in a nice Christmas mug. Oh, that's a nice mug. That like botanical one there. Yeah. Oh, it's down there. Pretty. Little mushrooms, they're cute. That one's like the... The potter's pink colour, isn't it? How nice is it? Emma. Very Bridgerton. <laughs> it is. Isn't it? You're not like to have on the side. It's so nice, isn't it? <laughs> mm. Are you going to get them to read? <laughs> no, God, I need a magnifying glass. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> I'll leave a twist. What's that dog called? I can't remember. Um, What's his dog called? Sister. We've got loads of these little frames. I like the, um, that one. Yeah, I like that one. Kind of like vintage-y. I never thought I would ever have anything like this or ever want anything like this, but there's some like pictures in there. Me and Jake are actually having our engagement shoot soon, like a year later. It's in, we're having it in October half term. And I feel like I want to pop some of those photos up in the house. So I might be on the hunt for some new frames. Ooh, William Morris crackers. What's inside? Let's have a look. Oh, usual metal <laughs> items. <laughs> usual metal tat. <laughs> love those ones. It's the nutcracker. I love those with the mouse. Yeah, they're nuts, aren't they? Ah. Uh, What's in there? A game. I think. Mm, you can play that together on Christmas <laughs> Day. Oh, look at the gingerbread men one. They're so cute. They're, cute. They're, cute. They're, cute. They're cute. 
I don't know what's in them though. Looks like metal items again. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know it's like so early for Christmas, but all the Christmas stuff is just like making me so excited. Look at these little gift boxes. Like Christmas Eve boxes. Look at this, farm fresh Christmas trees. And you can like pop like, like little things inside, nice, like a little it? Christmas box. How cute are they? They're lovely, the gift. I know. Will you, you get me one, maybe? With some edible stuff in it. Yeah. That I bake. Yeah. You can give it to me on the 1st of December. <laughs> I'll be waiting. <laughs> Look! It's a Christmas tree board! Really love those. Oh, if we had three, I'd get them for tea, coffee, sugar. How cute are those little jars? I love those. So it's going to be a shock for everyone, but I actually left <laughs> HomeSense without buying anything and so did Mum! What's and wrong Mum didn't even buy anything in Neptune either. I just got one thing, I got one of those little trays that I mentioned before, I'll show you when I'm back. But yeah, no, nothing Which purchased around there, yeah. <laughs> nothing purchased in HomeSense for me and then we were just going to go to this Starbucks here at the Capital Centre but it was a bit busy so we've decided to go to the Starbucks closer to us near home and I, we just went in and like queued up and then we decided to leave but I saw on the menus that they've got brownies in the shape of pumpkins which I just need because I'm in a very autumnal mood and then we'll probably get like a nice vanilla like or like a hot chocolate or a vanilla latte or pumpkin spice latte or something for all the cozy vibes. Yum yum, look at all these autumn goodies. Mum has got, uh, I can't remember the name. Oh, there it is. Ice blonde Mom, maple, maple caramel. caramel iced latte. It's dead nice, isn't it? <laughs> they feel like an it girl. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for the same but the hot version. And then we've got some treats as well. All the cosy autumn vibes. Little Starbucks break. So, very bad angle as always. But we're going to do a taste test. Mum's taste really nice, the cold version. This is the hot version. It's the caramel maple something latte. Let's see how it is. Mmm. Nice. Could this is like nice. hardly taste the coffee. It doesn't taste like um, a spice. The mum mumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin marble cake. Mmm, it's so nice. I'm gonna make this. Mmm. Then I've got a little pumpkin brownie as well. How cute is this? So I'm back from the shops. I only got one thing from Neptune. In fact, two things if you include the amazing small Potter's pink bag. <gasps> Isn't it just so cute? Jake, what do you think? So cute. So cute. So cute, I love it. And I have some inside information, some insider information about Neptune that you will only hear on this channel. So if you are a YouTube subscriber, you heard it here first. What? Neptune's closing down. No, <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. I wouldn't be smiling saying that. When I was paying at the till, I was like, oh my goodness, I love this bag so much. It's like my favorite bag that you've ever done. And then the girls at the till told me that for their Christmas launch, they are bringing out mini versions of the Neptune bags. Mini versions. And I think they're coming in walnut. So I'm guessing, you know, like when you get walnut in the Oni, range and it's like a dark like brownie woody colour which will look gorgeous for winter styling and also Potter's Pink ah! mini versions of those bags. Yeah how exciting is it going to be to have mini versions of these like you could just have them on like a little peg shelf or like a handle. They are going to be so popular. People are going to be going to Neptune to buy stuff just to get those bags. But anyway, I got my hands on the small Potter's Pink. So I'm gonna swap the one that I have on my like little cupboard under the stairs cupboard that I showed you last vlog, I think, and swap it for this one so that it's more of like a, like a better fit. And I only got one thing, which I literally told you I was gonna get anyway. I got another one of these trays because I constantly switch them around like all around my house. So now I can have one in the kitchen permanently. I can have one in the downstairs bathroom permanently and I can have one in the bedroom permanently. So three of these, I mean, I know one of them's a tissue box, but they're just, I just think they're such a cute, versatile 
gorgeous neutral piece and I never see anything like this on any other website nothing in this like gorgeous shade of neutral and the perfect rattan and like the shallowness of it and like how small it is like I never see anything like this so I just thought I'm just gonna get one and they're only 16 pound which is is actually quite affordable for only 16 pounds 16 pound for a lovely tray like that it's not too bad and why are you putting in all, all of a sudden mm -hmm. hey <laughs> I could think of many things I'd rather spend 16 pounds on oh yeah yeah. Name one. Are you waiting? We're waiting. Yeah. What would you rather spend £16 on than this tray? <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm going to end the video there everyone. It's quarter past five now so I think I'm going to get all cosy, get in my pyjamas, get my Ugg slippers on, light some candles. We're having chilli for tea. I hope you enjoyed watching today's cosy weekend with me video. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Let me know. I mean this video is kind of like a vloggy kind of day-to-day -day life kind of video rather than like a sit-down haul. I don't think I showed you much in today's video except the candles that I painted in the little tray from Neptune. So let me know what sort of videos you prefer to watch. Do you prefer to watch like the daily vloggy, like day-to-day -day life content? Or do you like a sit-down haul where I show you loads of items? Or do you like the house styling? You'll have to let me know which sort of videos you prefer and then I can do more of those. But if you did like this video, I would love it if you could leave a like down below, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already because there is so much coming on YouTube, guys. There's so much cosy content coming and Christmas content, which makes me so excited. So I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye, guys.